In this video, we'll show how to disassemble, clean, inspect, and reassemble the Eisen locking hub. This shows the tools, parts, and supplies needed for this service procedure. Begin by removing the hub cover. These bolts should have already been removed during the front axle disassembly. Turn the hub housing over on the workbench. Remove the larger snap ring using a small standard screwdriver. Then remove the small snap ring using snap ring spreader pliers. Now that both snap rings are removed, let the inner hub drop out of the bottom of the housing. Remove the spacer from the inner hub and set both parts aside. Now separate the clutch, spring, and pawl assembly from the hub cover by rotating the pawl clockwise until the tabs align with the openings. Set the pawl assembly aside and remove the hub cover gasket. Using a small standard screwdriver, remove the handle snap ring and separate the handle from the hub cover. Be careful not to lose track of the detent ball and spring, both of which are located in this hole in the handle. Then finally remove the hub handle seal. Now remove the clutch spring and set it aside. Next, we'll remove the pawl and spring from the clutch. This is done by first removing the pawl using a standard screwdriver and then removing the pawl spring by rotating the spring counterclockwise. That concludes the disassembly procedure of the Eisen hub. Clean the handle and hub cover using a bead blast machine or other suitable method. These two parts could be painted if desired. Clean and inspect all other parts using a good quality degreaser and a cloth. If any parts are observed to be damaged or worn, replace them. Now that all the parts are clean and inspected, we're ready for reassembly. Completely lube the freewheel hub ring with a good quality grease and place it in the hub housing as shown. Lube the collar of the inner hub, the inner hub spacer, and place it on the collar of the inner hub. Place the housing over the inner hub and a cloth under the inner hub to keep it in place. Using snap ring spreader pliers, install the small snap ring. Then install the large snap ring using a small standard screwdriver. Check to see that the inner hub moves freely. Install the pawl spring on the pawl such that this bend fits against this tab and this tab fits between the two loops of the spring as shown. Then install the pawl and spring assembly on the clutch by aligning this end of the spring with this groove on the clutch. Put the parts together ensuring that this tab fits in a groove and all these tabs align with the corresponding teeth. Then push the spring end down into the clutch groove with a standard screwdriver. Once the end of the spring is located properly, work the rest of the spring into the groove as shown. Be sure the end of the spring is located by this groove. Also, make sure the spring fits all the way around in the groove, as shown. Install the handle spring with the smaller end against the pawl and set this assembly aside. Next, we'll install the handle in the hub cover. This is done by installing a new seal on the handle. Be sure that it sits squarely in the groove and is not twisted. 
Apply a small amount of grease to the spring and insert it in the handle hole. The grease is to keep the spring from falling out during assembly. Then install the detent ball on top of the spring and apply a small amount of grease to keep it in place as well. Lube the seal and handle with a small amount of grease. Then place the hub cover on the handle, aligning one of the V-shaped grooves with the detent ball. Be sure that the handle moves freely between lock and free positions and snaps into place in both locations. Be sure to leave the handle in the free position. Place the hub cover on a cloth to prevent marring and install the snap ring using a small standard screwdriver. Install the hub cover gasket and align it with the bolt holes. Position the spring and pawl assembly on the hub cover. Align the pawl tabs and lock it into place by rotating the clutch counterclockwise. The hub cover handle is now in the free position, ready for installation. Apply grease to the inside of the hub housing. With the hub cover handle still in the free position, align these double teeth and this tab with this larger groove in the housing. Once the teeth and the groove are properly aligned, install the cover on the hub housing, making sure the gasket is positioned properly. Install the hub cover bolts. Snug them using a 10 millimeter socket. There's no need to torque them at this point as they'll need to be removed when the hub is installed later. Once the bolts are snug, be sure the handle is still in the free position and check to see that the inner hub moves freely. Then move the handle to the lock position and check to see that the inner hub is locked and does not move freely. That concludes this section on hub disassembly, cleaning, inspection, and reassembly. If ever we can help you with any of your off-road needs, simply log on to www.lowrangeoffroad.com or give us a call at 801-805-6644.